so the little conflict we have here is uh, what is intention behind the action of uh, someone who is following the path or someone who is has finished the path and uh, so can an arahant kill a dog with rabies to protect other people and, or other dogs or whatever and uh, I personally trust the scriptures that say that an arahant cannot kill and he probably uh, has so much equanimity so he says okay so the, the dog got rabies for certain reasons and others will be afflicted by the dog or not for certain reasons but that's really not the point and I, and I rather want to postpone the decision of an arahant and wait how I decide once on an, an arahant to meet a dog with rabies but the point is does an arahant have intention and what does it mean intention <coughs> Intention in the sense of having a directed action, I would say he does, he still has that, otherwise he would just be a vegetable and uh, couldn't even eat food from his, from his arms bowl. But intention in the sense of the suttas, jetana, means that uh, his actions point to something, not only to the purpose of the action, but they point to something that is the doer and the arahant has got rid of, of the of the self, the idea of the self, which is proven by the action. I'm doing, therefore I am. And this is beyond the Arahant. And so the question of could he kill a dog with rabies or not is, in the case of the Arahant, a little bit beside the point. Uh, for those who haven't got that far, uh, the same uh, thought applies as with a Jew hidden in the, in the wardrobe, would I tell the Gestapo man, yes, I got a Jew hidden in the wardrobe, or <clears throat> would I lie to him to save someone's life? And then for someone who has, is not a Sotapanna yet, uh, Sila, the question, what should I do, has two different functions. One is uh, to fulfill certain values in order to proceed to a higher goal of which the worldling really doesn't know anything. So there is a saying of uh, a French philosopher Jean Grenier, in order to make a real decision we have to know the truth and this, so the worldling doesn't know the truth yet so he can't really make a decision. So the only decision he can make is uh, does fulfilling this or that rule uh, fulfill the role that uh, is accompanied by the rules so if someone says, I'm a, a good German and I do my duty for my Vaterland, then he will say, yes, I got a Jew hidden in the wardrobe. But then the question arises, where does he hide a Jew in the wardrobe in the first place? But if he says, I try to be a, a good, kind human me being and I uh, try to avoid suffering, he would lie to the Gestapo man and for the higher value of a human life and say, no, I got have never a Jew in my wardrobe. How, how could that be? And uh, this higher value, which makes the heart clean and which avoids suffering, is something that can prepare you to the higher step of, of uh, entering the stream into the Dhamma and become uh, Arya Pugala, as the Sutta 117 in the middle length discourses says. There are two different ways of Sila. Uh, one is still afflicted by uh, uh, the German word is Triebe, which means compelledness or compulsion is usually translated as taints or something like that which is a bit fuzzy in English and the other way which is without that and then the explanation is that it's in both cases it's the same thing not lying not stealing not killing and so on but in the case of the Arya Pukala of someone who has entered the stream it no longer takes away the responsibility of his shoulders the responsibility for I am I am this I am in this role, so the Sotapanna doesn't have this illusion anymore, and for him, Sila is just a way to proceed on the path to, to reduce suffering for himself and others. <coughs>